Year 3, how are you? How are you, everyone out there? I just want you to know that I missed you so much, and I need you all to stay home safe. Today we're going to have a new lesson, we're going to learn something a little bit new, and I'm going to explain it as if we are in class. Okay, first of all, get your books. Get your ICT books, remember? Okay, get your ICT book and read those pages. Transitions and themes. All right, it's page 30 and 31. You're going to read those pages carefully first and then uh, watch the rest of the video. Let's see. You're not going to have uh, so much actually to do. You need All you need to do is practice. Open your computers and practice. I'm going to upload in the system uh, the PowerPoint that you need to use. If you don't want to use it, you can make your own PowerPoint of five slides. All right? So make sure you uh, use the PowerPoint I upload or your own PowerPoint in order to do the following. Okay, after you download the file that I uploaded, it's called my personal robot. Okay, you might see this sign over here in your computer, probably depends on your computer because it's protected here. Anyways, uh, you're going to need enabling to edit. So enable it. After that, you'll be able to use it. Now, guys, make sure you use a computer for that. You can't use smartphones or iPads. Deal? Yeah. All right. So this is it. This is your slides. These are your five slides that you need. My Mega Droid. It's my personal robot. What I'm going to talk about, it's the same one that you do at school, remember? Okay. Read it, go through it, and then start with the slideshow practice. So guys, in order to start changing the transitions, you click on transitions here at the top. Okay, do you see it? And you choose your transition that you would love. So click on the slide and then transitions and then choose one. Okay, that's all. So I will show you the rest in the following. Keep choosing, keep playing with it and you'll see. I will choose this transition for four. You see some of them are already chosen, okay, but I'm going to change. Okay, for the last one. Okay, I'll, I'll leave Honeycomb. They already did this for it. Okay. Now, how can you see your slideshow? How? This is something new that you don't know. Okay, look below here at the bottom. You've got the slideshow button. If you don't want to use this, you've got also here in the ribbons up there in the toolbar, the slideshow. Okay, you can start your slideshow from the beginning. Are you ready to see your slide? But first, we're going to put it in the first slide and then we're going to watch. It's on mouse clicks, so you need to click or tap or click um, on your keyboard or the mouse. Okay, let's drink some coffee and watch. And moving around. Nice. All right, now after we're done the transitions, we go to themes. Just let you drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna go to design up here. Click on design, right? And then and then you can see the list of designs over here. Click on the bottom over there and you can go through each one of it, all right? By the way, the designs 
if you're starting a new presentation and a new PowerPoint, you will get the designs to uh, and the themes to be chosen at the beginning. We used to choose blank, remember? Now, I want you to try choosing themes. These are called themes. These are called themes. Why? Because each kind of slide has its own design. If you choose the whole theme, the title slide will be different than the content and title slide, and it will be different than the blank one. So each whole theme is a pack for all kinds of slides, all right? So I want you to try them out at home. In our presentation, we will try one by one. So if you can notice, if you choose one, all the other ones are changed. Now look, the words are gone. You know why? Because the theme here choose, chose the title to be, sorry, chose the text to be white. And white cannot go with white background here because I already uploaded a, a picture in my uh, presentation here. So, okay. So let's choose a theme that's suitable for this one. I found this one was the best. So I chose it. All right. Do you see the title slide looks different than the others? Um, I want you to try them all at home. Not necessary with this presentation. Make your own presentation. Uh, create your own ideas and enjoy it. All right, guys? Please like this video and subscribe to Computer Ideas for Kids. And don't forget to turn on your notifications.